Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Brannis again. And today we're going to be working on a keyword search. Last week we did a subject search and this week we're gonna be concentrating on keyword searches. So you're gonna use this worksheet to help you and we're gonna do it together. And you can see that you can get onto the Follett card catalog system that is in Clever. And if you click on me, which is with my giant sculpture dog, you will see that you have two choices. So I will show you very quickly. Now I will have a teacher view, which will be slightly different than your view. When you click on there, you will notice that there is Miss Rennes' library page. So what you're going to do is you're just gonna click on that and clever, and you will find that there are two choices. One is to get onto the online part, which you're doing right now, and the second one is for the Follett card catalog. That way you can look up all those books. And if you remember, you have to click on Mary Queen School Library to actually get into the card catalog to start searching. And there is a video down below a few weeks that tells you how to do it just in case you forgot. It's also, um, and, and it'll be listed there for a while. So we're gonna be working with keyword, which is right here. We worked with subject last week, and now we're gonna be working with keyword. So it's a little bit of a different search. Subject is much more narrow, and we're gonna see what happens when we do a subject search compared to a keyword search, which gives you a lot more information. So on our sheet here, it says sometimes when you do a subject search, you don't get enough resources. If this happens, a keyword search is always a good second option. When completing the activity below, try a subject search first, then we're going to try another search and we're going to do a keyword search and we are going to actually compare our results to see the difference here. Now, I'm going to pick the subjects, but if you want to do a subject just for fun, you can pick your own subjects, but I'm going to do one so you can kind of see how it's done. So for the very first subject, I don't know about you, but I love dogs. I have two dogs. One name is Coco Chanel. The other is Banksy. So I love dogs. So my subject is going to be dogs. That's going to be my subject. So I'm going to write that there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my card catalog and I am going to put dogs. I'm going to type that in and then I am going to do a subject search. So when I click on my sub subject button and that's what we did last week, I see that the library has 438 books that talk about dogs. That's a lot of books. And remember, instead of clicking through each page, you can just click on show all, that way you can scroll all the way down. So when we go back over here on our paper, it says, how many hits did we get when we clicked on subject and we put on, when we typed in dogs? We got 438. That is how many books we have in the library that just talk about dogs. That's the subject of the book. So we're going to see how that changes with a keyword search. Remember you click on library search to get to your main search screen and we're going to put dogs again and instead of doing a subject search we're going to do a keyword search. So we're going to click on this keyword button and we're going to see that that jumps a lot. So we're going to see that we went from 438 to 524 and it's right here up in the corner. So there's more books in keyword than there are in subject. So on our paper, we can write 524. 
So we definitely see that there is a difference between a keyword search and a subject search. Going down the next box here, and again, you can fill in whatever you want. We're going to do leaves. If you remember last week when you were doing keyword searches, you did a search on leaves. And let's see if you remember how many books came up about leaves. We're going to go back to our library search. When we do a subject search on leaves, if you remember, because we did that last week, we got three books, only three books that subject is about leaves. Those books are only about leaves. That's what the subject is about. So on our paper, we can write, we got a whole three books that talk just about leaves. But this is what's so interesting. Going back to our card catalog, going back to library search. When I type in leaves and I click on keyword, oh my gosh, there's so many more books. There are 113 books that mention leaves in it. So they may be about leaves or they may just talk about fall. So there's so many more books when you do a keyword search than when you do a subject search. You're gonna notice that it's huge. So you went from three books when you do a subject search to 113 books when you do a keyword search. So you will always get more books in a keyword search than you do on a subject search. And then why would a subject search be more useful than a keyword search? Why? When would a subject search be more useful than a keyword search and why? Well, I would say a subject search would be more useful when you are looking for a book on a certain subject. It's hard to write and talk at the same time. So a subject search would be more useful when you are looking for a book on a certain subject. Keyword searches bring up more. Subject searches are much more narrow and it's about that topic you're looking for. So just going back over to our card catalog, just to remind you, how do you find that book title and the call number and all of that? Remember, you click on the title that title will become underlined. You can read the summary down here. You can decide if you want it. If you want it, remember you click on see all. It will tell you the location. This one, anyone can check out because there's no sub location there. If there's no sub location, that means anyone can check it out. It's available. You can't write down the barcode. It won't help you, it won't help me. And then you write down the call number, which is ECOL. And the title is, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed Some Leaves. So boys and girls, if you ever want a book checked out from the library, you can always email me and you can look up a book on the card catalog system. Remember to put the full title and the call number because that will really help me find those books. And that way you can check out from the library too. Again, you go back to library search and I wanna show you one really quickly here. We're gonna do a keyword search again because you get so many. When you click on a title like I did with leaf jumpers and you're going to read it and you say, yeah, I really want that book, that sounds fun. When you click on see all, 
And this is what I'm talking about. So this has something in the sublocation, you can't check it out. So this is a six traits resource. So that's for teachers only. So only teachers can check that out. Sometimes it will say young adult. You can check out young adult until sixth grade. And then sometimes it will say teacher resources too. So if it's something in the sublocation, usually you can't check it out yet, or you can't check it out because you're not a teacher. So be very, pay close attention to that sublocation. And then of course, you can see if it's available in the call number. So look close. I always start with the sublocation first, just to see if I can check it out or if I can't. And then you go back to your library search and boom, you're ready to search again. So today we're just kind of working with keywords, remembering that keywords brings up more and subject is much more specific. I'll see you next week in library, bye.